Hey guys, what's going on? Odama here, and welcome back to episode number 24 of my Manchester United FM20 save. Now, episode 24 is the beginning of season number 3. Now, I guess we'll just have to jump into the nitty gritty of what's been going on in the transfer market because there's a lot more than what you'd expect. Um, I touched on that, I wanted to bring in some defenders and defenders is what I've brought in but there's also been a couple of other spicy little signings so it all kicked off firstly with Christopher Eger and as you can see we brought him in for 50 million well 80 million but a fee of 50 million up front or oh, this year so to say um, amazing like, I wanted to get him last year I couldn't get him last year, just based off the fact that we didn't have Champions League football and we were equal in level to Tottenham and he didn't really fancy signing for us, which is fair enough, but now we've got his services anyway, which is amazing. Yeah, 50 million, can't really complain, he, he was a big improvement on either Maguire or Lindelof, stats wise. So. He's still young as well, and tw he's 23. He knows the league anyway. He's performed really well for Tottenham. So again, he's going to be a superstar for us, I think. Um, and then we followed that up with a signing of Renan Lodi. And I was looking for a fallback because I'm thinking Shaw's always kind of injured. And to be fair, we have got Wagner Man, but. I thought we'd just focus on strengthening the defence. And I've seen this guy pop up for only about, you know, like his value was 20, you know, 23 million now. I think it was like 19 or 20 million before we signed him. And I looked at his stats and I was like, he looks pretty damn good. Like, if we compare him to Shaw, who is our main left back, Shaw's better in the defensive. Kind of areas, Lodi's more of an attack minded player, but generally he looks good and I'm pretty pretty happy with it overall. 19.25 million, I can't really complain with that quality of player. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, but then this is where the big talking points came is that we got an offer off PSG for a Paul Pogba, who still wanted to leave even though we got Champions League football. Um, they put an offer in of 80 million, which I declined because obviously I did already say that I wanted to at least get 100 million for him, which we managed to do. We got 104 million for him. It's a shame to let him go. <clears throat> He's gone back to his homeland and um, He's gone to a super team, effectively, with like Kane, Neymar and Bappe up front. It's a crazy front three. With the addition of Pogba now is going to be an insane force to try and tackle in the Champions League. Um, 104 million, maybe we could have got a little bit more for him, but I did say, as long as it was over 100 million. And he wanted to go, so I kind of didn't have any choice in the matter. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to um, affect the the club in a negative way by trying to keep him. But getting that money anyway freed up the fact that we could get Milinkovic Savic, who was another target for us last season. Um, he's amazing. He's more of a box to box anyway type. Although Pogba, even though he d doesn't feel like he's accomplished there, his stats you know suggest that he can play that role because he's amazing but this guy is you know like fully accomplished in the position physically he's a beast mentally a beast <laughs> technically a beast he's a bit younger than Pogba as well he's two years younger so I'm hoping for big things I wanted to kind of bring him in as well as keep hold of Pogba but I guess it wasn't to be <clears throat> But I'm looking forward to see what he's capable of doing this season. And then, again, 
I was on the let's strengthen for the defence. <coughs> Excuse me. We bought in Koulibaly, a transfer target for us in real life. He's 30 now. We spent a lot of money on him, so this is to try and hopefully win us a title with the two centre backs we've brought in. In the defense, the strength in the defense. It's all ways that you know. We brought in Azier, who's 23, fair enough. Lodi, 23, still got room to improve. And then we brought in some ready, ready-made stars in Koulibaly and Milinkovic Savic. So ultimately, very pleased with the signing. He's amazing. His technical stats in regards to his defending and his physical stats are also barring his acceleration but pace wise he's still fast once he's up to speed he's one of the best centre backs currently in the game so I can't really complain and finally topped off by this little sign in I was looking for youngsters who I could kind of snap, snatch up for Small buyout clauses, and this was like three point odd million, and it looks pretty decent. <coughs> Excuse me, it's two star currently, but, but I think he'll be like that as Bell, that one that I like to sign. He looks like that type of player, like stat wise, he's quite well rounded in every area, and he's going to improve for sure. I've loaned him back out because he can't get a work permit unless I loan him out, so that's what I've done. And then in regards to the important outs, Jesse Lingard goes to Arsenal for 23.5 million. Got a decent amount of money for him, I'm pretty pleased with that. Got him off the books as well because he was on about 90 some thousand. And he didn't really play at all last season, so it makes perfect sense for us to offload him when he's gone to Arsenal. Hopefully, <clears throat> he'll get some games there. And then Andres Pereira, which is Bit of a gutting one, we got rid of him for only nine, nine and a half mil. Shakhtar, we accepted the bid from Shakhtar for like 22, 22 and a half million, but then Pereira couldn't agree terms. And at this point I was like, right, let's just get 50k off the, not that we're like maxing out the wage budget, but we want to keep things, keep the, keep it ticking over, freshen up the squad, getting rid of the players that we're not really using currently. He was one of them. Got 9.5 million for him. He's worth, you know, 20 million, I would say. So it's not the greatest, but nonetheless, we got 50k after wage bill. And also, we got rid of Joel Pereira here. He was on about 20k, which is a decent chunk because we never played him. So <clears throat> it was um, a, a good one. For both us and Southampton who have got promoted back into the Premier League so I don't know if he's going to be their regular goalkeeper this season but he's solid he's I'd say he's probably a championship quality um, goalkeeper nonetheless a lot will be interesting to see if they do actually play him regularly in the first team this season let's look at the schedule then for today's games which we're going to be playing two actually we were because I didn't figure in that we were going to be playing in the Euro, uh, UEFA Super Cup. It's going to be Liverpool as well. Because they won the Champions League for the third time in a row. So yeah, we've got two big games against the two two of the big six clubs. Um, so yeah, we'll jump to the team selection for the Tottenham game and kick off season number three. Right then, let's have a look at what... We're going to be what squad we're going to be using for the first game. So, remove this column because we don't need that. Let's have a look then. Um, yeah, that looks like a solid team. A lot of four star players in there. Let's see, um, I mean, I've not played any of the friendlies, so I'm kind of going into this kind of blind. Just hoping the signings that I've made is going to work. I mean, they should do. 
But let's run through the team anyway. For the first game of the Premier League season, so De Gea in goal. Defensive, or defenders of wan Koulibaly, Koulibaly, Iger, Lodi. Central midfield of Neves, Fernandez, Savic. Attackers as Chiesa, Martial and Haaland. Now, I've got a few... Got four names in the starting eleven that weren't in there last season, so that's always good to freshen up things. Because I've been, I've made mistakes in the past where I've won like, say I've won a Champions League, like I've done the treble for instance, and then I've not signed any players because I've thought, ah, oh, there's no point because we, you know, we, we're not going to sell anyone. We just use the same team again, but everyone else improves. And finds that extra percent, which means that you might not, you know, and then you don't end up winning, you know, another treble. You only win like what not, like the league or something, and then you miss out on the FA Cup or Champions League or whatever. So it's always good to keep trying to freshen up the team, and just even if you think, ah, oh, is there any point in spending all that money on just a little bit extra of a better player? Yeah, it is. Lodi now though, what's he gonna do? Milinkovic, I'm just going to call him Sergei, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how Tottenham do, because they kind of blew up at the end of last season. Aaron's though, Aaron's was an interesting one, actually. We agreed terms with Norwich, because he said he wanted to leave, and I was like, yeah, I'll snap him up, because he's worth a lot of money, he's only 21, and he's I think he's a wonder kid fullback from Norwich and um, I was like oh yeah I'll put in a bid for him because I still had like 30 odd million so I put in a bid for 28 million which was accepted ooh come on Marshall yes dribbles passed on ooh and um, but then he decided to go with Tottenham who actually paid 2 million less than Norwich but the wages they gave him I think uh, hours because I let Mike Phelan do it me director of football because I just couldn't bother doing that signing um, doing the contract which I don't really regret that much because we don't necessarily mean, need the right back oh Sergey unlucky there um, but yeah I think it got to these are on about 60k a week but Tottenham he's being paid 100k so that's I uh, so understand why he's joined them instead of us Marshall, Ooh. unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. We're playing well, though. We're playing well. We've got a rejuvenated squad with the likes of Manolas, Aaron's, Decore, that Luis, Yanazai as well. He still got Biel Bielsa at the helm as well. He didn't sack Bielsa, even though. He didn't get that Champions League football last season. Oh, come on, what? Lloris with an amazing save there. We've had three clear cuts so far this match. Haaland heads over from the corner. We're all over at Tottenham at the moment, which is a good sign. Sergey, now what's he going to do with it? Renan. Renan now. What? What was that? What were you even trying to do? Whatever it was, wasn't working. Well, it's been a dominant first half in some respects, but at the same time, we need to be getting the three points, setting us off, because the last two seasons we've been poor at the start like in the first ten games we've lost like four. Ah, oh, Haaland firing over. So we need to pick up the pick up the slack and make sure we start as we mean to go on this season because we won't be challenging the likes of Liverpool and Man City whether we'll win the league. Who knows, but I've made these signings with the intention that we're going to be battling them all the way to the end of the season. 
and improving on our 76 points I think it was that we got last the end of last season which was a decent tally so again lucky there we had 5 clear cuts, Loris, Loris has kept him in this game so far Haaland had him wide oh my god Aaron's now throwing it Sergei finds a quick ball over to Haaland he's going through on goal oh it doesn't look to be our day today I'm going to make some subs He's looking a bit worse for wear, I'm not sure why. At this stage of the first game of the season, but <clears throat> well um up to take to take him off. Sanchez goofing it long oh god I thought the hair was gonna slip up there. Koulibaly Sergei find a brilliant pass over to Kiesa now ah, he can't find the finish another chance goes begging are we going to get the breakthrough we've had 5 clear cuts 3 half chances no goals to speak of <laughs> it's just kind of unbelievable Oh, what a ball that was, as yeah. Yes! Chiesa with the first goal of the season to kick us off on the right foot. Well deserved. What a ball this was. This is what I paid the money for. Bang! Look at that, perfect weight on it. Straight into the path of Chiesa, who tucks it home to make it 1 0. Oh! Ruben Neves, unlucky there. Loads of time, loads of time. That's it. Into the channel. What's rest we're going to do? He's going to pull it back for Dallo. Oh no. Juan Bissaka though, ooh, nearly arrowed it into the bottom corner there. It's unfortunate. We're going to get our first three points of the season. Kicking the season off with a win. We are season Manchester United 1. Spurs now. I'd say we were very happy with everyone's efforts, which we were. No mean feat to beat Tottenham. That puts us in sixth place after one game. Everton have gone off with a flyer, thrashing Leicester. So yeah. Anyway, we in the next uh, live com, which we'll be bringing in a second, we'll be up for our first piece of silverware this season for the UEFA Super Cup. All right, this is the uh, team selection now for the UEFA Super Cup. Now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to quick pick for one, and we get a full, well, I say a full, we got a bench of 12, which is very nice. Let's have a look. We're going to go with the same team, I think. Just to give them another run out, the same team as last game, because we did dominate Spurs, and I'm hoping that I'll be the same in this game, although Liverpool are a whole nother, whole nother level than Spurs. They've been winning so many trophies under Klopp, it's ridiculous in these past two seasons, so let's run through our team. The hearing goal, in fact there's no point running through our team, you already know the team, same as last, last game against Spurs, let's have a look at their team. 
you know, look at that. Kai Havertz, he's been a, a signing for them this season. It's amazing, like, he's like 22, 23, but it's like worth like 70 odd million. You've got Latoura Martinez, Dybala, Carrasco's another signing, the Brian. They've still got Cater Fabinho, uh, Fabinho. And the back line and goalkeeper's always the same. They've sold the uh, Masani to Barcelona for 119 million, which is crazy money. But I mean, I'll take that for Mane. So 119 million. So their net spend's been. I think they've not even their net spend's like minus minus. A certain amount of money just off the fact of the Mane sale, and I think they've sold a couple of other lesser players for like 20 million or whatever. Did I say Sane? I meant Mane. If I said Sane, I meant Mane. Um, let's see how we get on in this game. Last last time we played them, we did beat them 2 0, so and I'm hoping with our improved defence. Oh. Well, in theory, anyway, we should perform better. It should be a closer games. Kesa okay, so now puts it into Neves. Oh, Sergei Nelly. Thought he was going to find his first goal there for the club. Yeah, in regards to the big signings, what? Yeah, so Pogba went to PSG. Joe Felix has gone to Man City for like 90 million. Mane, 119 million, gone to Barca. Um, Kai Havertz was like, oh no, Martinez getting the goal. The early goal is always against us, so Liverpool seems to score. Um, yeah, I think we paid like 70 million, 70 odd million for Havertz, so. <clears throat> We've done some big business like us. We've done some big business. Lovely clip ball over to Martinez. De Gea saves. Well played. Ah. Trent Alexander Arnold makes it two nil. It's going to be a long. Long road back for us now. After 14 minutes conceding two goals. Bruno Fernandes switching the play to Martial though. We can't find the back of the net. Disappointingly for us, we've had seven shots. Well, a lot of shots, but... No real highlights to speak of. These are just unstoppable at the moment, like, I don't know how, how anyone, ah, oh, Sergei, it's a penalty. Moment of truth. Yeah, penalty. <laughs> it was obvious anyway, it was a penalty, it was way inside the box. Dibal is gonna step up, slots it home for number three. And this game's effectively over now, I'd imagine. Very, very disappointing. In truth. It's just, it's just showing the, uh, oh, 4 0. God. Is this showing the golfing class? <coughs> Did you think we've strengthened? 
they've strengthened and it's playing dividends here I'm getting absolutely thrashed at the moment which isn't what we wanted to see I thought we might have closed it up on them, but it looks like the gap's widened again, which isn't good for the league anyway. Because I don't think, well, City have bought Yao Felix, but I think other than that, I don't think they have strengthened all that much. So it could be Liverpool walking away with this Premier League title again, but Martial gets through. Can he get a consolation? He can. His first goal gets off the mark. That's right, run it back to the halfway line. Let's kick off again. See if we can get another goal. We've had 24 shots. Let's make some substitutions. Boy and Bolo on. Marshall Singer, but we can't bring anyone on, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we're going to be playing the last 10 minutes with 10 men. Potential groin injury, which isn't that great to see. There we go. Liverpool 4, Manchester United 1. They kick off with their first piece of silverware this season. Tell the team it was disappointing, which it was. Let's go lick our wounds now and try and get mentally back ready and fight for this Premier League title and all the other domestic trophies that run off of this season he's out for three weeks we received three over three million for that though so I'll, I'll take the three million why not let's have a look at the schedule now for we're gonna come back feel like we might make our way quite a bit more further into the season than we did last season because that went on for maybe one or two episodes more than it should have so we're going to come back for this group game in October which means I've got a lot of games to play but then by that time there'll be um, a lot more news Hopefully a story developing of where we're going to look to be this season, whether we're going to be talent challenging for the title or it's going to be another, you know, battle for the Champions League spots or, God, I hope not, but the Europa League. And on that note, wrap up today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Comment if you want to comment on it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching again. And I'll see you in the next episode.